everyone and welcome back to my second channel so i think it's been a little while since i've done a grocery haul and you know what i figured it was about time it's been about two and a half weeks since i've actually gone grocery shopping probably even three weeks because i was visiting my dad and whatnot then i was at my mom's so your girl desperately needed groceries the only thing that i've had in my pantry is granola and dates and peanut butter it's, it's not enough so i did a big grocery shop and i was actually so intrigued by all the new things at the grocery store i had to put a bunch of stuff back because i legitimately just couldn't carry it all out of the store i was like okay this is excessive so next time around i'll try some new things but i did get some new stuff this time as well so let's go through it and of course everything is vegan now this is in no particular order so first and foremost frozen bananas for smoothie bowls i already have frozen strawberries and raspberries so it just needed the bananas and all the fresh bananas were bright green and although i do love a green banana they were too green to tell if they were going to ripen properly or not then i got some avive smoothie cubes because when i was in la i was obsessed okay with smoothie bowls i probably had at least one one a day no, I just had one a day. I don't know why I'm exaggerating it. I had a smoothie bowl a day, which is still pretty good. And they were all acai smoothie bowls. Unfortunately though, where I live, you can't just buy like acai packets frozen. If I lived in the UK, I could, or if I lived in BC, I could, but I'm having a lot of trouble in Ontario. And there might be a niche place in Toronto, but I'm not driving into the city for that. So this is the best I could find. These are blueberry, cherry, and acai. They'll still be good for smoothie bowls. It just sucks because there's only three servings in here. And I mean, I don't know. It's a lot of plastic, so I don't want that. But hopefully when I move to the UK, I can have acai on the regular. Speaking of, I got some Robinson's apple and black currant. This is actually what my boyfriend has um, at his house. It's their version. Well, it's, it is juice, but you just mix it with water. So it's way more economical because I originally was gonna get a bunch of these canned um, guava and mango juices. They looked so good, but they were $1.50 each, whereas this was $3 and this lasts way longer because you only need a little teeny tiny bit when you mix it with water. So got that for juice that juice wasn't enough i also got lychee juice because it was on sale it was only a dollar 20 so i thought that was pretty good and i can just put that in the cabinet and then i got this bold and smooth stock cold brew coffee um i unfortunately don't have like a proper coffee machine i just have my keurig that i use the reusable k-pods for so i don't know how to make cold brew i know that's something i could probably figure out but i feel like i'd have to have a coffee machine so got some cold brew to try hopefully it's good then i got some earth's own oat milk this is the original kind my favorite though is the silk original but silk a ton of it just got recalled uh because apparently there was oh gosh i forget what was in it but it was something that was really bad in it making people sick so i opted away from all of the silk products just to be safe for now well the silk milks um so i got that oat milk and then these were new at the grocery store so it's really excited about them we're gonna try one right now this is the sweet lauren's nothing artificial plant-based gluten-free dairy-free peanut-free chocolate chunk cookie dough now it says actually reminder no baking needed these are safe to eat raw although you can bake them as well but i'm going to have one right now because i'm so excited so let's try some of this let's see a little raw cookie dough although it'd be frozen so hmm. but i think i will probably prefer these baked instead of just like this but i was too excited not to try them next up i got my yogurts so my favorite is the oh crap this is silk silk yogurts didn't get recalled just the silk oat and almond milk Whew, okay <laughs> so this is the silk probiotic cherry yogurt is my absolute favorite i also got the blueberry because i don't think i've tried the blueberry but the cherry is my favorite and um these don't expire for like two months so good for those and that they were on sale myself a firm tofu because i mean it's a vegan staple isn't it some fruit snacks i got two plums and also two green apples to have with peanut butter for snack i found this guava jelly so i was so excited about this i just couldn't leave it behind like had to try it so i'm really excited about that 
And then to go with the guava jelly, I got crumpets. Ah! I was um, actually gonna get English muffins, but then I saw these are beside the English muffins and I was like, that's so fun. I have to do it. So I might have to film like a British tea party ASMR video or something. Cause how fun is that? Myself another juice. This is the passion fruit one. Again, it was on sale for like a dollar something um, and it's not refrigerated. So I can put it in the cabinet and save it for later. I also got some more granola since I'm now all out of my other one. This kind is the vanilla and almond. I got some Earth's Own French Vanilla Creamer. I haven't tried this one, so I'm pretty excited about it and trying it with the cold brew. We'll see how that turns out. The girl obviously has a sweet tooth, but buying vegan treats from a bakery can obviously add up. I have a bad habit of when I'm with my mom, we go and we get a coffee and a sweet vegan treat. So <laughs> trying to not do that because I don't wanna waste all my money on a dollar like vegan croissants or something. So I thought when I am craving a sweet treat, I could have ice cream or I could make myself a milkshake. And this is new, the Breyers non-dairy cookies and cream. So I'm excited about that. Cookies and cream isn't my favorite flavor, but this tub was the same price as a small tub of vegan ice cream, like the small Haagen-Dazs ones or small Ben & Jerry's. So I was like, well, if I get two times as much, then I'll, yeah, I love cookies and cream, yep. <laughs> okay, and then for my dinners this week, I'm planning on doing a Mexican, uh, what's it called, cold pasta, like a Mexican pasta salad. I had one when I was in LA from Whole Foods and it was so delicious, so I'm gonna try and create my own. And then I'm also gonna have my classic Moroccan salad. So in the Moroccan salad, I do the tofu. I also do greens, so I got some sweet pea shoots, also some magic micro broccoli, get your greens that's what they say right so these are good for you i'll also put a bit of those in the mexican pasta salad and then instead of regular couscous i got actual tabbouleh grain mix so pretty excited about that because i hadn't seen that before i probably just hadn't gone down the right aisle but excited because i do now make my own tabbouleh if i'm not going to farm boy so i got that and then also of course in the tabbouleh we have tomato we have a red onion and we also have, of course, parsley. So that's in the tabbouleh. And then with my salad as well, for my dressing, I like to do hummus. This is just organic, regular hummus. And then I do lemon juice. So that's my one dinner for, it'll probably be like two or three nights. And then my other dinner will be the Mexican pasta salad. So I just got the fusilli, uh, I don't know, it's just pasta, right? I mean, this, again, it was on sale, so I picked that one. So we got our pasta as our base. Then I got some pico de gallo because I didn't wanna try and make my own salsa. I just, I didn't wanna buy that many fresh vegetables, so I got that. I also got some mango to either put in it or on the side because I love me some mango with Mexican. And then I also got, of course, a ton of cilantro and then I can put bits of tofu in it as well. I think that's basically like all that was in it at Whole Foods. I mean, to be honest, there's probably 10 times better than mine, but your girl is trying to cook. She's trying. Everything that I got for groceries. Now, between all of this, this will last me the week, of course, but also, and then some because I got lots of juices and yogurts and stuff to last. But with groceries, grocery prices in Canada, I mean, if you live in Canada, you know how expensive it is. So it's just tough to feel motivated to try and cook a bunch and eat really healthy when everything is so expensive. Like it's just crazy. Like I wanted grapes, for example, but I was like, I can't spend $9 on a bag of grapes. That just seems insane to me. So I did my best less. I hope you all enjoyed. And also at some point I'm going to learn how to make my own sourdough. I was actually gonna try and make it today, but apparently you need a sourdough starter, which I don't have. So I have to order that so I can learn how to make sourdough because that is going to be my new hobby is sourdough. And then I wanna learn how to do like the sourdough art, you know, when they like carve it really pretty and add dried flowers and stuff. That's gonna be my new me time hobby because my therapist says I need a me time hobby. So yeah, sourdough. Yes, I love y'all so much. I hope you enjoyed this little grocery haul and seeing what I got because I got some new fun stuff. And of course, if you have any requests, leave them in the comments because your girl always struggles with ideas. So tis helpful. 
but I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be a vlog, let's face it. <laughs> Bye!